so I'm laying here with the door open, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, I'm warm, totally warm. I can't believe it. I feel the heat radiating up to me right here. And it is uh, extremely warm in here. Like I said, you guys know me. <laughs> If I ain't, if, if I'm able to, I'm getting rid of the shoes, and the shoes are gone. All right, good night. <laughs> I finally found a shelter that'll keep me warm, and I don't even have the door open, like I said, or closed rather, the plastic. I have it open, but it's with this long fire. Well, it's a medium fire, we'll call it. <laughs> it's not as long as me, but it's probably two-thirds my length. And uh, it seems to be working pretty well. I mean, I guess it does help that there's only a three-mile-an-hour wind tonight. And, uh, and I got my back to the wind, too. This, my shelter back to the wind, so it's... I'm totally, totally out of the wind and all, or no wind, I mean, to cool it down any more than the actual temperature. It's supposed to go down to about 26 tonight, but um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. <laughs> I'm laying, like I say, I'm laying here right now with no shoes on, no, not even a blanket, and I'm totally comfortable. It's uh, unbelievable. I had my, I was sitting down here earlier. I had my feet down here, and it was too hot. I had to move. I felt like I was being burned. So, uh, as of right now, the super shelter is a success. I really like this reflective stuff, the 2.0. When I was at Dick's Sporting Goods, they had a survival blanket there, 2.0, but it was made by Field and Stream. The other one I got is from UST, from Walmart, and uh, they both look identical. I don't know, I mean, I don't think you could tell the difference of one from the other. I tried to look up Field and Stream, but I didn't see anything about that blanket 2.0, but that's what it was called. All right, so I wanted to show you guys this. I'm not sure how much memory I'm gonna have left on this thing, but this is my DIY uh, <clears throat> survival knife upgrade that I did with my uh, Schrade SCH-F51 Frontier knife. It came with a diamond, diamond blade sharpen, you know, knife sharpener thing which uh, I don't like those. I prefer a regular stone, so I got rid of that. And um, it also had a cheapo um, <clears throat> fire steel, which wasn't worth much either. I still have it, but it's worn down to almost nothing. So I changed this kit up and made it custom for myself. And I put in that Coughlin fire steel that I showed you, which is actually very nice. I've been messing with that for a little bit. And I put some fat wood on there. I bored a hole in it and put that on some paracord. And then I also added this to it as well. This small tin. It's just hard to get out of here with one hand. <laughs> yeah, but, all right, so the small tin, which I have a hole in so you can char stuff in it. And also, Yeah, and also, sorry about that, I keep some char cloth and some shavings, some fatwood shavings in there as well. So yeah, it's a pretty handy little deal. And it's uh, way more useful to me this way than the way that, than the way that it came. I, the way that it came, I didn't like the stuff that was with it. And the Shrede knife is... 
is a decent knife too. Good chopper. Good 90 degree uh, spine for striking fire steels or shaving bark off of trees or there's a lot of different things you can do with this thing. <laughs> so yeah, it's a decent knife. And cheap. I think I paid $35 for it. So it's 9.37. Uh, got pretty cold. I stoked the fire up and clued myself in. So, we'll see. I'm curious to see how warm it's going to get. I got a lot of wood on there. Once it catches, that thing's going to be blazing. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. So it's uh, 9.45. And it is ridiculously warm in here. <laughs> it's got to be 75 degrees. Maybe even warmer than that. I'm contemplating taking my jacket off. I know it's going to get cold as soon as that fire goes down again, so I'm probably not going to. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? It's 117. Uh, still hanging in there. <laughs> Pretty cold out. It's not too bad in here though. I just had to stoke the fire up again. Cause I woke up, it was cold. But uh yeah, I fell asleep. I <laughs> earlier I laid down, got under the cover just to warm up for a minute. The next thing I know it's 20 after one. <laughs> but uh yeah, I stoked the fire up. It's even though it was cold in here, it's warmer in here than it is out there. But I got the fire stoked up now, so it should warm up in here pretty good in a few. And I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm gonna go back to sleep after the fire stokes back up. Good morning, y'all. It's 6.40 a.m. <clears throat> and uh, I made it through the night. I woke up, it was pretty cold. Fire was completely out. So uh, I busted this bad boy out. <laughs> Yep, and it's actually working pretty good to warm this shelter up. I'm going to ready to close this back up. I'm making some coffee on the other alcohol stove. So I figured why not break out the toilet paper thing and see how that does through the plastic. Because um, I don't like having a fire going. The sun's going to be up soon. So no, I don't want to rip, light a new fire. So I just fired that thing up. I haven't burned for an hour or better. Almost two hours actually. So, uh, yeah, it's actually working pretty good. It's warming it up in here. And the fumes don't bother me through the plastic. So, uh, I think I found a use for this thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's 6.40 in the a.m. <laughs> Coffee's on. Got my cup over here. Put it back on that water. Yep, I'm out of boil. So it's just about time. Hot, hot stuff, people. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, gonna be good. This alcohol thing is working pretty good for this shelter. I didn't like it on the fully enclosed one. It had too many weird smells coming off of it. But uh, it's not bad out here. So it's uh, 7 a.m. I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee and, and this alcohol stove here. I, I think I was hasty in dismissing this as a good uh, source of heat because for this situation, it's fantastic. <laughs> <clears throat> this thing's been gone for half an hour or so now and it's keeping me warm if I shut this plastic 
it starts warming up in here quite a bit actually but uh with my coffee and all i can't really do that and i'm getting ready to start cleaning up this site and get on out of here but uh yeah i think i'm going to use these things again but only with open shelters or maybe with a super shelter like this i'm not going to put them inside of a shelter again but i think a couple of these things outside of a super shelter would be phenomenal <laughs> and i made a little reflector thing with the brick just to keep the heat in my area got the leftover alcohol i'm gonna take that out of here with me today pretty good night <clears throat> all in all i slept I slept pretty good. <laughs> I slept probably about six hours. Broken up. I woke up a few times, but uh, but I slept very well actually. It was very warm in here. Even when the fire went out, I mean, I woke up and I was chilly, but I wasn't like freezing, considering it was only like 26 degrees last night. And I didn't have a sleeping bag. I had the down the down comforter was fantastic too. Actually, it, it kept me very warm. So while I was packing up, I was using the little hunter here as a stove, and as you can see, it worked very well for that as well. All right, quick look at it before I break it down. I'm getting ready to get out of here. It's about quarter to eight. Thing's still going. <laughs> so that's an hour and a half now. So yeah, I think I was wrong about wrong about that. I don't think it's good in a in, in an enclosed shelter, but it's uh, I think it's real good with a, with a super shelter, and um, it's definitely nice just to have around it, warm your hands up on a little mini fire barrel. All right, so it's about 8:15. I got the site all broke down. I'm gonna leave the bed, the fire pit. But uh, it's a nice, nice sight. I like it. It's a good, good, um, good campsite. Oh, way off the beaten path. Thicker than I am than any of my other spots. For sure, I wasn't even the least bit worried about them guys coming back here with the with the ATVs and finding me out last night. Not a, not at all. I'm way way too thick for that. All right. Well, it was fun, and uh, see you guys next time.